going to make burgers. Let's see how we can make a delicious burger without having to have all the perfectly measured ingredients. So stuff all of that perfection, but what you do need is some chickpea flour and some milk or water. And that's going to be the base of your burger. On top of that, you can use any leftovers. Well, not any leftovers. I don't know what your leftovers are like, but you know, um, any cooked grains or legumes. About one cup, you don't want to add more than one cup, otherwise it's just going to be one big mush. And you need a whole heap of oil for frying the burgers in, because burgers just taste awesome when they're fried in plenty of oil. I'm going to use tofu, because I love tofu, and tofu burgers are awesome. People use a fork to squash the tofu. Now, I think that is a waste of time. Use your hands. Look at that. Look how easy that is. Put some love into it. Feel that. Mm, feel that goodness. You do want to make sure that you did wash your hands before you started any of this. That's it. How easy is that? Mm-hmm. 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 I've actually got some chickpeas here, so I'm going to add those as well. I just remembered I picked some wild garlic earlier. So I'm gonna add that in there. Check it out, all this wild garlic, fresh from the garden. Mm. Let's grate one carrot. You could do pumpkin, sweet potato, parsnip, only carrot, only zucchini. I guess you could, yeah, you could do beetroot as well. Keep these scraps in a bag, in the freezer, collect them every time you cook, and then make a broth out of that, make stock out of that, simmer all the little ends that you collected. How cool is that? Zero waste. I do like zucchini in my burgers, so I'm gonna add zucchini. I'm not scared of zucchini. So I'm gonna add the whole big, massive bazooki zucchini that I just grated into my burgers, which are probably gonna make them more into zucchini burgers, but I'm cool with that. I do like chili, so I'm going to add some chili. You can cut that like so. Now, I've got the wild garlic in there, so we don't need the real garlic. I got Himalayan pink salt here. You can have whatever damn salt you want. This is from the Himalayas. The world is a crazy place. This is where I find measuring not a bad idea at all. Add one cup of flour, have a little stretch. Oh. Oh, life can be so tense sometimes, we're all trying to do so well. Pinch of my cup and turmeric. Turmeric, don't we all love turmeric? Everyone's just like, ah, 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 turmeric. And you wanna add Chia seeds, they hold the burger together as well as a chickpea flour and provide some protein. One and a half tablespoons, not too much because you don't want to eat chia seed burgers. And my favorite spice in the world, sweet paprika. Mm. Now I, I can add buckets of that. Always mix your oat milk. Now I like to mix up the dries a little bit like so. Use my hands yet again. Use your hands, really get in there. Down the bottom you always find little dry bits. Oh, I, forgot. I also like to put tamari in there instead of all the salt, but now I've only added salt and I think it's salty enough now. You can taste it, you can salt taste it by doing that. It's not a very nice thing to do and you might want to wash your hands and spit it out. You know, life is very messy in the kitchen. This looks all very neat and like it is sometimes, but oh, oh. you're yeah, right. So, wonderful. Here we have the very nice burgers, ready to go. Man, you can put sesame seeds in here. You can put sunflower seeds in there if you want to go all hippie on me. No worries. It's really quite nice, actually. I mean, kids don't like it, but mind you kids nowadays they're a little different aren't they 
and I know that for some of you this is not a quick task shaping little burgers and that's perfectly fine you can be all meditative you can move your hips in an eight you can move your hips however the hell you want and just kind of enjoy the process of making these burgers so they don't need to be like the perfect shape now because I am gonna squish them down in the pan like we have to move our hips there's no point eating all this perfect food in the world organic and vegan and gluten-free and blah, blah. and like you can't even feel your hips where are you going where are you going to perfect vegan heaven there'll be no sexy things going on in perfect vegan heaven you feel so much better i'm just telling myself that there I'm going to be naughty and use olive oil for frying these in. I always travel with my cheap IKEA plastic spatula because it's the best. It's thin, it's easy to use. I haven't got it. So I'm going to use my wooden one. No animals were directly harmed in the making of this food. Nice. Very nice. 